Hey YouTube, Keegan here with Tech Shows You, and in today's quick video, I'd like to show you guys the Sensu Solo paintbrush for your iPad. Now first off, a huge thanks to the folks over at Sensu for hooking us up with this product to review for you guys. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and get right in with this review. Now this stylus is not like anything you've ever used before. This actually has bristles and it acts like a real paintbrush, yet it can work with your iPad's touch screen. Now this brush does look and feel very much like a paintbrush, and I could actually see myself accidentally using it as a real paintbrush with real paint. Now here as you guys can see we're using Paper by 53 which is sort of our favorite go-to drawing app for graphic design. Now as you can see I just simply pick a color and then I can paint it on. It takes a very, very light touch and I do not have to apply very much pressure at all. Certain styluses we've tested, like the Jot Flip by Adonit, require you to hold it at a specific angle, but this stylus, because of the paintbrush bristles on the tip, you can hold it at whatever angle you want and it does not create any issues for drawing. Now you can use it for all sorts of different tools, but we find that using this sort of watercolor tool is what fits best with the paintbrush's functions and the feel in your hand. Now of course, just like any other stylus for the iPad or other capacitive touch devices, it does work no matter what you do. You can be drawing in the app, you can also be using it to control basic iOS functions, such as switching apps and such. Although with this stylus, the brush is a little different because there's not as firm of feedback because of the bristles as they push down on the screen, so it may not be that good for everyday use just for using your iPad if you don't like to have to use your fingers. Now because of these bristles on the brush, it is actually damaged very easily, so they do provide this little clear transparent plastic cap that you can put over the brush and it kind of snaps on. Now unfortunately the build quality of the cap itself was not that great, as you can see along this stress seam there is a small crack, as well as two other ones on either side. Now I have not used this very heavily, it's been in my backpack a few times, but I definitely don't step on it or do things like that that would create a crack like this like you'd normally think. If the bristles are damaged, you can actually cut them off right down at the base and it will not affect the functionality of the bristles on the brush at all. You can also wash off the brush tip if you need to if it gets dirty for any reason, or if you accidentally use it with real paint. The light blue aluminum handle is just the right shape and size of that of a real paintbrush, so it feels very natural to be using it, especially if you're experienced using real paint. Now as you can see, it is actually quite small, here it is compared to a dollar coin because I cannot find any quarters, but as you can see it is actually quite small and not as bulky as some other styluses. This is definitely one of my go-to brushes when I'm working on any kind of graphic design projects. The Sensu Solo is available for $25 in a variety of different colors from SensuBrush.com. I do recommend you guys go ahead and check them out today. This has been Keegan from Tech Shows U and I will see you next time.